In this video we're looking at GNS3 and I've got a number of devices, VMs and the like uh, loaded in to GNS3 and a few routers and bits and pieces. But ideally what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring something in. There's, there's a Juniper router look there, as a VM in fact. What I'd like to do is bring in an open vSwitch. So there's a project now that's supported. Um, I have to think carefully about the version of GNS3 that I'm in, 1.5.3, which uh, only a short time ago seemed to be up to date, but uh, it's gone on rampantly since, so uh, we're at much higher releases now. And that's going to be a problem with what I'm going to try and do. Um, although, the way that we're going to do it will overcome those problems, as we'll see. Let's uh, let's unfold. Just want to do a couple of checks around RegEdit and uh, just what I was looking at here was doing a search for win pcap inst so win pcap install um, and if you start from the top and if you match whole strings then it should very quickly find win pcap inst and in here we can find the version is 4.1.3 so you might want to make a note of that and just underneath that it's probably Wireshark, yes it is and we can see the version of Wireshark that's installed in this machine as well so that will help later on because we can short circuit some of the update stuff in GNS3 so first things first I need to um, go and find some GNS3 as an update um, because I've got 1.5.3 so the first of those things that we need to go to is the github.com and we're looking at GNS3 releases if you just simply search for um, GNS3 github releases it'll come to this page and you can see that the version at top of tree for this one is version 2.0.3 which is what I'm going to play with there's two things I want from the downloads. I want the all-in-one. Not entirely sure what the SWI is at the end of this, but I'm um, guessing and hoping. So I'm going to pull that one in, and I'm also going to work it through VMware's workstation. Tried it with VirtualBox, didn't like it. It just wouldn't play ball. So I moved across to my uh, VMware and it worked like a dream so uh, stick with what works is probably the best thing to do so we'll need to click on both of those uh, and download those so let those download uh, and let's see where we're going to put those put them in my downloads folder um, let that fizz away and do the same for the VMware um, option for the workstation so save that as well and away that goes good so those will take a little time to do their downloads but we'll let them sort of carry on in the background so that's first things first there's another bit that we're going to need and that's under you can see GNS3 it's the open vSwitch appliance so again GNS3 open vSwitch appliance to search and you should come here and you'll find that there's the installation instructions but you'll also need click here so you can see where the hand is, click there to get the appliance. Uh, you might also want the appliance, this is, if, if you read through the sort of what we've got here, and I'll let you do that, what you could also do is you can bring one in with a management interface, so you can go to this link here with out, and you can go to this link here with, so click on the with, and you'll see very much a similar screen, same idea, but this time this version has an management interface on Ethernet 0. So again, download the appliance here. So we'll click on that one, that's the one I want. Uh, you can do both, I've actually done both uh, perfectly fine. So we'll download that to the download folder. And away it goes. So that's three things that we've downloaded and we're going to use those in, in their apparent order a little bit later. So they've all downloaded, so if we have a look in our downloads folder, we can see, and I've, I've just put date modified to see them coming in, there's my all-in-one, um, there indeed is my appliance, you can see if we just open this up, that's a GNS3 appliance, and you can see that I've got this zipped file here. So first of all let's unzip that, so we'll extract it, and of course extract it to its own folder. So we can find that folder just by quickly scrolling through the folders, there it is. If we open that up we've got an OVA file, so we need to install that of course into one of our suitable 
virtual environments or virtual platforms. Now I did say I tried this out with VirtualBox, not this one, because you have to get the correct one for Workstation or for VirtualBox. So I downloaded the VirtualBox variety and it just didn't want to play ball, so redid it this way and it certainly works. So we can bring up Workstation. Uh, you'll notice I've got a couple of bits inside here. Uh, I've been working with uh, IMS and I'm also working with Junos, but I've got Juniper router here. Open a virtual machine is the option that I want. Uh, where did I put that? I put it in downloads. So if we're going to have a look in downloads and under GNS3 VM VM works 2.03, of course, because that's the version that we wanted. Open that, and there indeed is the VM. So open and import. And we'll let that import. It'll just simply appear in the list on the left hand side once done. It has some default settings which we'll pretty much leave alone, but we'll just go and check those once it's up and ready. So there it is on the left hand side and if we just right click on there and go into settings it's the network settings I'm particularly interested in to make sure it's got a host only adapter and that will be running its DHCP in order to allocate IP addresses on there within the machine itself uh, and then we've also got NAT as the second interface don't change those leave them alone otherwise it will bellyache so I'm happy with that that is fine so that's sitting in abeyance that's ready to be called into service uh, very shortly so we'll return to GNS3, and remember GNS3 is currently languishing at version 1.5.3 in my case, and I'm going to upgrade that to 2.0.3 in the normal manner. So back to my downloads, and if you remember we've got this GNS3 all-in-one option, so that's what I'm going to have. I've still got the appliance, we'll come back to that appliance later, remember. That's going to be loaded onto the VM that we've just put into Workstation through GNS3. So just going to fire up uh, GNS3 and s see if it works. So yes to that. There uh, is currently a version. Please close before installing a new version. Absolutely. Let's do that. So having closed, resume. Here we go again. And a next. Always agree. And a next. Now this is where we might want to be a bit more selective, so I've checked my versions, that's why I went there. Uh, 2.2.1, maybe, that's what I've got is enough, I think, more than plenty for, for what I've been doing. Um, and then there's the solar winds as well, I might not want. That just saves a bit of time. Let the others load in, that's fine, that's good. Okay, so install. And away we go. Shouldn't take too long, but we'll pause it anyway. So we go shooting along like a mad thing. Nearly done. And here it comes. Next. Um, I'm saying no for this, speed things up, let's go. And start GNS3. So happy days. It's going to prompt me. What have we got here? Ah, right, okay. If you get anything like this, then the best way to get around this is to make sure your Windows is up to date, which it should be, and also um, go through and uninstall GNS3 first, and then install it with administrative rights. You'll have to run it with administrative rights, which has been the same since for quite some time now. So, you know, I'll go in on the icon, right click properties. Uh, advanced and then run as system administrator select that uh, and then it should every time you open it up bellyache ask for permissions and then away we go so um, right I'm going to uninstall and start the installation process once again right so having uninstalled and installed but run as system administrator we shall see when we finish. There we go, right, so it's up It's up and running. I'm just going to take us back out of there for a second because I want to show us that uh, in a slightly different way. So let's cancel that, let's close the project down. I haven't really started anything yet, but let's do that. Right, so we've got, uh, we've got GNS3 sort of iconized down here uh, and I sort of recommend that because otherwise you could you can find it elsewise, but that just makes life easier. But make sure that's got permissions to run as administrator. So again, um, 
ensure that each time that you run it it's running with the right privileges so I've done that and just going to select that so we get the inevitable yes to that and all should be well there we go so this is the same same place we sort of started off with so you can see here, please choose a server type to run your GNS3 network simulations. The GNS3 VM is strongly recommended on Windows 22. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull in uh, a VM, but I just want to show you first. So I'm just going to cancel that because, as again, we can get that other ways. We can see here that um, uh, on the current machine over here on the right, there it is. Good <coughs> utilization, mm -hmm. um, and we can see that I haven't got anything set up as a project yet. Uh, I've got on the left hand side, let's have a look following the update. I've got a number of devices, but I've got to go in and load in the old devices so to make them available um, as before. Uh, and then, really, what I need to do is uh, for the purpose of this VM, is I can start it, trigger it again just by going through to the setup wizard which gets us back to where we were. Might not want to see that every time you come on but there we go. So run uh, modern iOS as a VM. That's what I want to do. So it's the top option. So next. So it's just the next to here unless you want to change things. And connection to local server successful. I was expecting that. Um, and through to here. Now it's selected VMware. It could be VirtualBox but make sure. So I'm just like that belly ache for a moment and then go back to VMware okay fine so VMware is the option I'm going to go for and if it wasn't listed I'd hit the refresh button on the right you can see the VMs that are available to me which match up to what's in my uh, VMware workstation you can see just hiding in the background there um, number of cores I'm um, set to 1 it might be 2 and by default and this might be 4048 but I've set that down to 2048 so we'll just next that and just let that sort of come in. You can see it's confirmed in here as well. Here we go. So take ownership and that should be yours. And here we go. Nearly there. Here it comes. So it's actually firing up. So you got the VM tools as well. We'll do that later should be fine and here we go we've got the sort of access this is the normal opening screen you might click on OK get in there click on OK and then you get to this where you can do some updates and stuff networking and the likes okay right control alt and we're out and let's finish so next thing that we want to do is import an appliance template so ha ah, the magic starts so back to the downloads folder and the appliance that i've loaded in look there's a juniper one and it's this open vswitch management gns3 a eh? i've got the i've got the in showing uh, on mine so then it's just simply a next operation um there's nothing to select here so if there was then select run the appliance on the GNS3 VM next to that and you'll see that it comes up with 16 adapters and a management interface on well it'll be Ethernet 0 actually so yep there's one of them that's fine there it is as confirmation um, and we've got bridge 0 as well so we'll see the vSwitch management has been completed good Okay, so we can start up a project. Um, just going to go blank. Let's go to devices. We can see the vSwitch management. If we go right click and con config or configure template, we can see the symbol there for the icon is a, is a Docker symbol. So I'm going to change that. Uh, let's go and have a look and see if we've got a, a multi layer type switch one. Oh, nearly. So dub, 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 dub. That'll do. Okay, to that. And okay to that. And there we go, symbols change. Nice. So, what we could do is drag those in in uh, traditional style. In fact, we can see that beastie coming across. Just one more thing, just go back to the VM workstation and we'll come out of there. That's actually fine. There's nothing to do here. In fact, 
no, we won't do that either. Um, I know you have. You have warned me. Let that do that in the background. That's just an update, and we'll leave that. In fact, we'll just open up. It's just rebooting the background. We'll just open up a um, project. Um, open vSwitch. And then on the devices on the left, select the device across, drag it in. So we're just, there we're just about right time. Yep, there we go. There's good activity there. Ooh, looks like a good one. And put another one in. Faster the second time round. Uh, go on to the interfaces. So Ethernet 0 across. Deselect that. Uh, don't need the devices listed up now. So we've got those devices. We could start them as in the traditional manner and start. So we've got multiple devices we can see up top right. We can see the VM associated with this is on the servers summary. So that's good. And if we right click and console, we should get a lovely console. And if we do a quick OVS VS kettle show, we should get all 16 ports. So we've got some Ethernet ports uh, listed there. Uh, Ethernet uh, 15 all the way down to Ethernet 0, it says hopefully, because Ethernet 0 is also associated with the management. Uh, we can also see we've got bridges here, so bridge 0 is the normal default, but you can see I've got bridge 1, bridge 3 and bridge 2 at the bottom here. There it is. So Ethernet 0 is the management interface. Yeah, if it was the, the other option, then I'd find it. Uh, I'd find Ethernet zero listed here as well. So uh, again, do the old sort of um, uh, beasties in in terms of finding your local config and stuff, and away you go. So that's something to play with, really. Um, and we'll do that later.